Hello, this is JB. I'm with Austin Homebrew Supply in Austin, Texas. Uh, today we are talking about beer making equipment and wine making equipment. And specifically in this section, I'm talking about how to take hydrometer readings or the different equipment associated with hydrometer readings, okay? So there's a few different ways that you can draw a sample out of a container to get a hydrometer reading. Hydrometer is the, is the uh, instrument that measures density, okay? So, say for instance I had a bucket just full of liquid. Well, with the hydrometer you can simply take the lid off of it, put it into the bucket, read the reading. Once you're done, grab it by the top, take it out. Well, things get a little more complicated when you're dealing with carboys, okay? These glass containers that we call carboys they got a little bitty skinny opening on the top, which makes it really difficult to get a hydrometer reading. You drop that thing in there, it's kind of a one-way trip. It goes in, it's going to be really hard to get out. So, one of the ways, the most traditional way, of taking a hydrometer reading out of a glass container would be to use a turkey baster and what's called a hydrometer test jar. So here's what you do. Everything is sanitized, okay? We're assuming that. So you put this turkey baster into it, you draw up a sample, and you start filling your hydrometer test jar with your liquid. Well, you can see a couple of things going on here, one of which is, I hope I have enough liquid in here for my baster to hit, which in this situation I just barely do. And the other thing is, it's kind of messy and kind of cumbersome, but nonetheless, this is what a lot of folks will do to get a hydrometer test. Take your hydrometer, put it into the liquid, give it a little spin, and then once it comes to its level, once the foam kind of subsides, you'd be able to get a hydrometer reading. So that's a little bit about how to use a traditional hydrometer test jar with a turkey baster.